It's been a long time since we've talked about snipers on this channel, so today we're gonna be covering the top 5 best snipers you can use. Don't worry, we're not gonna mention the SVD, the XPR50, and the SKS, simply because they aren't what people call true snipers unlike a Kilo Bolt Action or a Ritek for example. All the stats we're gonna mention today are as always related to the gunsmith we're using. At the 5th spot, we have not a sniper rifle, but a marksman rifle, and it's none other than the SPR. It was already in the last top 5 sniper video, and while it's still here for a reason, it is one of the best snipers you could use for aggressive sniping, the ADS speed is incredibly fast, for the damages it has DLQ hitbox up to 35 meters, and after that it has a locus hitbox. The biggest issues with the sniper is that you only have 5 bullets, and that the wall bank capacity isn't great. If you want to get a one shot kill through a wood wall, you'd have to hit only the head, the chest, or the upper arms if you're using FMJ, or or only the head if you are not. Also, if you're using a 6x optic, if you're not running, the right part of your screen is pretty obstructed, which may make you miss some information. It's overall a great sniper that can be used in any game mode, but you'll mostly be comfortable and respawn with it. Here's the gunsmith we use for the SPR. For the second gunsmith, which is just the first one without a scope, you can use either the TAC A4 grip to control the recoil, or an FMJ perk, or bullet return if you're looking for nice clips. Now at the 4th spot we have the Locus. Its prime era was just before the huge sniper rework and sadly now it can't compete well against the best sniper. It can only one shot in the head, the arms and the chest which is kinda bad compared to a DLQ for example. Where it's really good though is for aggressive sniping kinda like the SPR but with a bit more versatility. It has 345 milliseconds of ADS time which is great, its ferret is also good with 1 second of fire interval which allows you to chain kills easily. It can easily one shot through materials with FMJ on, and because of the gunsmith, unlike the SPR, we always have a free slot to put FMJ on. It has a great max size with 8 bullets, which is enough for a sniper, and the mobility isn't too bad, which means that you don't necessarily have to knife switch with it. But what makes it only 4th on the list is its damage, which is an issue because the one shot consistency is lower than all the other snipers in this list, but most importantly, the flinch. The Locus has 4.8 of hit flinch, which, even with toughness on, is way too much to be able to hit a shot if you got hit while being already ADS. Definitely where it shines is in respawn because of its overall stats, and here are the two gunsmith builds we use for it. At the third spot, we have the DLQ 2.0, also known as the Koshka. It's a DLQ with a better blank scope capability, which makes you able to shoot earlier. It requires a lot of skill to be able to blank scope correctly with it, but it's definitely something you can practice. But the Koshka has some issues. First of all, if you want to be able to shoot through walls with it, you'll have to use the Armor Piercer Mag, which only gives you 6 bullets per mag, and it can feel a bit short if you're using it in respawns. And also, if you want to use a suppressor on it, you'll have to sacrifice either the laser that gives you the really nice bank scope capability, which just turns the Koshka into your worst DLQ. Or, you'll have to sacrifice ADS speed boost attachments, usually the stippled grip tape, which isn't quick enough. It's an overall great sniper, but not as versatile as a DLQ, sadly, and and here are the two gunsmiths we used for it. At the second spot, we have a weapon that we didn't talk about on the channel, which is the HDR. Just a quick recap, you probably remember the ZRG that was capable of getting a one-shot kill wherever you were hitting the enemy. Well, the HDR does the same in its first range, which goes up to 45 meters, which is already enough in general. It has a really slow mobility, the slowest on this list, and the ADS speed isn't quick either with only 408 milliseconds of ADS time. But you probably understood. If it's slow and it ADSs slowly, then it's good for playing passive. And you're right. With only 1.56 of hit flinch, you can achieve to kill someone that is shooting you. With the one shot hitbox being the whole body, it's also pretty easy to get a kill while hard scoped. And if you want to play sort of aggressive with it, again, the one shot kill everywhere is here to help you since you cannot not kill someone if you hit them, which makes it pretty easy to use. And you'll be really comfortable using it no matter what game mode you're playing. The one shot through walls is also nice since you can one shot someone through materials as long as you hit them everywhere apart from the legs. Since the mobility is pretty slow, I highly recommend you to either use it with toughness and be really passive in general, or to knife search and rush everyone knowing that you can one-shot someone everywhere. 
Here's the gun space we use for it. You can switch the tack suppressor for a light suppressor to gain a bit of ADS time, but you'll reduce the full body one shot to 36 meters instead of 45. And if the scope is annoying you, you can try using a tack scope instead of the suppressor or the laser. At the first place, of course, it's a DLQ-33. 369 milliseconds of ADS time, which is quick enough. Good one shot hitbox on everywhere except the legs. Good one shot capability through walls with the same hitbox as if there are no walls. Eight bullets with or without a suppressor, good overall mobility, and 1.2 seconds of fire interval which is quick enough to play response with it. But the biggest issue is the flinch with 4.2, but as we saw earlier, the only other viable sniper in SND is the HDR. And the HDR is just way slower than the DLQ which makes it less way versatile than the DLQ. Here are the builds we use for this sniper. What's your top 3 sniper rifles? Let us know down in the comments below. I know snipers shouldn't be used in close range, but DLQ's just too good that it allowed me to do this. Yeah, boy. You might still be making these mistakes when it comes to sniping, so click here to learn more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.